Hey, welcome back to my kitchen. You got the vegan queen here, Vicki Lynn. And so glad you could drop in on this video with me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do start solution friendly, plant-based meals, meal preps and videos, all recipes. We do some grocery hauls if that interests you. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and scooch on over and hit that bell icon because you want to be notified every time one of my videos goes up because I think my videos are fun, interesting, and I always have some great tips to give you. Um, so today is, we're going to be doing a cauliflower soup and it's going to be uh, oil free. I was looking in the fridge, had a cauliflower, and that is how I do my recipes, guys. I look at what I have in my pantry, in my fridges, freezers, and that's how I come up with my recipes. To be honest, I don't like food waste, so I've already used my scraps and made my gorgeous veggie broth. And so I decided in, I'm going, this is going to be part of the whole, my whole meal prep for the week. And I decided I bought the cauliflower. It was starting to go and I originally bought it cause I was going to make cauliflower wings. And then I don't know what happened. Life got away from me and I don't know. I just didn't feel like cauliflower wings. So cauliflower soup it is because it is chilly here. So let's get into the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make this oil free, fat free but creamy and delicious. Are you interested? Let's get cooking. Okay, so let me tell you what you're going to need. You're gonna need some veggie stock. If you don't have veggie stock, again, you can use water and bouillon cubes, and uh, obviously vegan bouillon cubes, and there's some great stuff out there, like Better Than Bouillon has the veggie, the chicken, the beef. You could use any of those. I would probably stay with the chicken or the veggie just to keep it a little bit lighter. You're going to need some cauliflower. I'm going to be using potatoes to thicken this up, make it a little bit creamy. I'm going to use some celery and an onion. If you don't have celery, don't sweat it. Get a different colored onion, fine. And don't forget, keep your skins. We're going to start a new bag for our next stock. Um, some spices, and again, you can mix yours up. I'm going to use a little bit of nutmeg and some thyme. We're gonna use some fresh garlic, because that's gonna be lovely. And then after we blend it, we're going to see if we're gonna add maybe a little bit of soy milk or not. Now you could do this recipe with cashews. I like to give you different varieties, guys, because I want you to make these recipes your own. Be have fun in the kitchen, and it depends on what part of the journey you're on when you're following the starch solution too. If you're trying to do the maximum weight loss, leave the cashews out, put the potatoes in. It'll still be thick and gorgeous. If you're on maintenance and you're adding a little bit of um, nuts to your diet, then you could do about a half a cup of cashews to this. It'll give it a little bit more of a mouthfeel, a little bit thicker. You can still do the potatoes and even the cashews if you wanna make it even thicker. But I love to give you options because life is all about options and it's all about choices. All about choices that we make. So, now, let's get to some chopping, and I'll be quiet for a little while, if that's even possible. What we're gonna do is chop our celery, and because we're blending this soup, we don't really need to worry about our chopping skills, but we do want it just to cook a little bit faster, so we are gonna chop a little bit. Our onion, I'm gonna get the bag close by. Now, I did hear something that if you keep a wet cloth while you're chopping an onion, it's supposed to help with water your your eyes watering and stuff. I have a really hard time with this. And I don't notice know if you notice, but a lot of times when I do videos, the onions are already chopped. And that is because I have such a hard time with this that my eyes water so badly. Oh, this seems to be working. I don't seem to be having such a hard time. And then I just close that up. That goes in the freezer. And then I just keep adding to that. And again, because this is all going to be pureed. So they say that the wet cloth, whatever the chemical is, I should look this up. Whatever the chemical is in the onions, 
seems to be helping. Pulls towards the wet cloth. We're gonna put that on our plate. And now we're just going to chop up our garlic, nice and easy. We just need like nice silvers. Here we're just going to be peeling our potato and we're gonna just cut it up into little pieces because we're gonna cook it in with our soup. Nothing too fancy. This is what we're going to be using as our thickener and that's what's gonna make it nice and creamy. Now we're just gonna cut up our cauliflower, just break it apart and we're just going to cook this in our broth so it doesn't really matter on the size. And use your stems because it does add to the volume and to the texture. Now we're going to heat our pot and we're going to add a little splash of water so we can water saute our onions and celery and garlic. And we're going to let that go. And then once it is has browned a little bit, we're going to add in our potatoes, our cauliflower. Make sure you get that all in there. Yes. And then we're going to add in our stock. I'm using my homemade stock and you're going to notice my stock is very dark and it is going to make my soup look very dark, but this is my homemade stock. And of course I'm using all the skins from the onions and everything. And that's why it's that rich, luscious color. And now we're just going to get that going in our pot, mix it all together. So now we're just going to bring this to a boil, put our lid on, and then let that simmer until our potatoes and our cauliflower are cooked and tender. So we're just going to check and our cauliflower is nice and tender, exactly what we want. At this point I'm going to add in my spices and I'm just going to do a little pinch and a tiny little pinch of nutmeg. We're going to season a little bit towards the end and I'm going to put in a little bit of thyme, about a teaspoon. Better to start out with a little less than a little more and then I always like salt and fresh black pepper. So because I know there's no salt in my broth because I'm the one who made it, Now if you're SOS, you can leave the salt out, totally up to you. That's my starting point. So at this point you can let it cool a little bit and you can put it into a high speed blender. I'm going to use my immersion blender. Now you can see how nice and smooth that is. Now my broth was nice and dark, so obviously this isn't going to be a white, white soup. If you wanted to keep it like a white cauliflower soup, I'm going to taste it. I think it needs some salt. Some fresh ground black pepper. Touch more time. I am going to add a pinch of nutritional yeast, and I would say probably like a tablespoon, just to give it that umami flavor.
Doesn't that look delicious? And there you go. A healthy, hearty cauliflower soup. Oil free and delicious. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I'm going to be around with more videos, guys. It's happening. And again, go for a walk. Take care of yourself. Take a couple of deep breaths. And don't forget, love yourself the way you are. So here's our cauliflower soup. Great way to serve it. I've got these little plantain croutons. They're spicy sriracha. They're delicious. Or you put regular croutons on top. Add a little bit of crunch to it. Or some spicy chickpea. Roasted chickpeas would be great. Regular croutons. Just to add that little kick to it. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys.